Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe. And if you've been following me already, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I will be sharing with you my questions from my pre-recorded interview at PUEA regarding caregivers bound to Israel. So I am guessing that most of you right now who are watching are also caregivers like me and maybe you're waiting for your pre-recorded interview or you are hopeful applicants na gusto mag-apply sa PUEA as a caregiver. Isa po ako sa 400 um, Filipino workers who are uh, waiting for our deployment bound to Israel as a caregiver. Hope this will help you. Huwag na po nating patagalin. Let's get started. Let's go! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Before we start, I just wanted to um, clarify with you, disclaimer lang po, no? Hindi po ito accurate at maaaring mga tanong dito ay hindi po matanong sa inyo. In no particular order, these are the questions that they asked me. So my first question is about family background. Of course, nagkwento ako about my family. And please do take note po, no, na every time they're gonna ask you a questions, meron silang mga follow-up questions. So, isa sa mga follow-up questions ko about family background is that, ano daw po ba ang masasabi ng family ko about me? And also, um, how about my friends? Uh, ano naman daw ang masasabi ng mga friends ko? So, so, so that's it. That's my first question. And then, my next question was that, um, they asked me about Israel. Uh, why Israel? Bakit ka nag-apply sa Israel? Guys, take note lang po ha, ang interview na magaganap ay puro English po ang usapan. So, nag-taglish lang ako kasi mas doon ako comfortable while doing this vlog. So, yun na nga, they asked me why Israel. Um, naging honest ako sa sagot ko. I say the obvious answer. And also, of course, sinabi ko rin na isa ang mga Israel sa bucket list ko. So, I was very honest about that. And yung follow-up questions ko is that, anong mga lugar sa Israel ang gusto at una kong pupuntahan pag nandun ako? So, of course, I was able to answer it. Kasi, syempre, na-research ko na yung Israel prior to applying as a caregiver. Sunod na tanong sa akin is, ano daw yung food na gusto kong unang kainin pagdating sa Israel? So, isa pa sa mga questions na tinanong sa akin is that, um, ano daw or what do I think will be my problem in Israel? So, isa sa mga follow-up questions then is that, ano ang opinion ko about sa religious belief sa Israel? Another question that they also asked me is that, why did you leave your previous job? And some of the follow-up questions are, What's the nature of your previous job? And also, what was your relationship with your colleagues at work? So they also asked me why why I don't have an experience as a caregiver. So this is very important, especially for those who doesn't have any experience as a caregiver like me, that you really have to think of your answer, why you don't have an experience as a caregiver. Kasi tinanong siya sa akin. So naging honest naman ako sa sagot ko. Dahil nagtapos ako ng caregiver, mga katapusan na ng 2019, and then by the time na gusto ko nang mag-OGT, eh, pandemic na. So, wala na talagang chance. And also, um, isa sa mga follow-up questions niya related to that question is that, what special traits from my previous job that can be helpful to me as a caregiver? So, I remember I answer um, endurance and perseverance and hard work. Those are the traits that I can apply as a caregiver. And the, and she also asked, why endurance? Why 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 did you say endurance? No ang connect niyan sa pagiging caregiver. So of course, naging honest ako na hindi naman talaga madale ang trabaho ng isang caregiver. Nangangailangan talaga siya ng mahabang pasensya and hard work para ma ma achieve mo ang pagiging isang caregiver. Some of the questions that they also asked me is that. Why do you want to be a caregiver? What are the qualities of a good caregiver? I think we can all answer to that because even before we graduate, napag-aralan na natin yan by the book. Some of the questions that they also ask me is that, How do you handle stress? What is your greatest strength? So those are some of the personal questions that they ask me. Last but not the least, they will also gonna ask you situational questions. These are the questions that they ask me. 
What do you do when your patient started asking food at the middle of the night? And then my follow-up question on that was that, um, magagalit daw ba ako dahil nabiti ng tulog ko? Ano daw ba ang gagawin ko? Another situational questions that they asked me is that, what would you do if your patient started screaming at you or hurting you? Another one was that, what will you do if your patient refused to take a bath or go to shower? And also, the last questions that they asked me is that, what will you do in case of emergencies? So those are some of the situational questions that they asked me. I know from my friends na hindi kami pare-pareho kasi I do have friends also who are like me. Uh, we were just waiting for our deployment and nag-usap-usap kaming tatlo and hindi kami pare-pareho ng mga situational questions. Although meron namang pagkapareho but most of it hindi. My tips to all of you during your pre-recorded interview is that always be honest, be confident, smile, and if you're worried because um, hindi kayo magaling mag-English or kinakabahan kayong mag-English, okay lang po. It doesn't have to be perfect English. Ang importante, you will able to answer your questions and then you're authentic with your answer because I think that's the reason why we're doing this pre-recorded interview because our future employers wanted to get to know to know about us and it's very important that since day one, we're being authentic of who we are. So there you have it guys. I hope these questions could help you in your preparations for your um, pre-recorded interview at PUAA. And again, I would like to remind everyone, disclaimer lang po, um, these questions might be asked to you or not. Uh, wag po kayo masyadong mag-expect. Basta ang importante, you guys have an idea of what could be the questions that might be asked to you during the interview. Okay? And... Uh, Sa mga nagtataka kung bakit sobrang dami ng questions ko, it's because um, dalawang beses po ako nag-schedule ng pre-recorded interview. Kasi yung first schedule ko was that yung sound ko or yung audio is hindi siya malinaw. So hindi maintindihan ng taga-piba yung mga sinasabi ko. That's why nag-second pre-recorded interview ako. And the funny thing was that yung first questions na inaral ko nating akala ko yun lang ulit ang itatanong sa akin hindi pala so nung second interview ko maraming stammering pero i was able to answer my questions so i hope and i wish you guys all the luck that was my experience and i am very happy that i was able to share it to you and if you guys have any questions, madalas po akong online sa Facebook and Instagram. So, do message me there. Hindi ko man kayo marireplyan agad. But definitely, I will answer you when I'm not busy. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to follow my adventure and misadventure in life. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for videos and travel blogs. Don't forget to hit the bell to join my notification squad. Till next time, bye!